One of PHP Storm's most powerful features is its debugger. Now the name debugger goes as far back as the 1940s and literally means something that removes bugs or faults from a program. A debugger will allow you to pause your code while executing it, enabling you to inspect the program's memory, to follow which path the code takes and much more. Now the goal of a debugger is to make it easier to find out where things go wrong and remove bugs from your code. PHP comes with a lightweight debugger built in, but by far the most popular debugger for PHP is Xdebug, which you'll need to install separately. Luckily, however, PHP Storm will perform the installation for you. So let's take a look at how to set up Xdebug with PHP Storm and how to get started with debugging. Let's say you don't have Xdebug installed. What happens when you start debugging a PHP script, a test, for example? Instead of running the test normally, you can press the debug button. And as you can see, PHP Storm lets us know that there's no debugger installed, but it can also fix it for you. Just press update interpreter info, then download and install Xdebug extension and give the IDE a moment to set Xdebug up for you. When it's done, PHP Storm will automatically rerun the test with the debugger enabled, but not much happens. That's because we haven't told the debugger to pause anywhere yet. Now to do that, we'll need to use something called breakpoints. A breakpoint is a place in your code where the debugger will stop executing for a second, allowing you to inspect what's going on. For example, let's add a breakpoint on this line here. Click the line number in the gutter and you're set. Now let's rerun our test. And this time you'll notice that some things have changed. The program is paused and PHP Storm is showing a bunch of information. On the left, you see everything that happened before we arrived at this breakpoint. We got here via these method calls. You can click through them and PHP Storm will show you the path through the files. On the right, you'll see all the variables currently available at the breakpoint. There's a this variable referencing the test class. You can open it and see what's in it. Then there are other variables like the global env variable, for example. PHP Storm will show you its contents and you can see how the list of variables changes whenever we move to one of the previous method calls. The debugger is now moving backward in our program flow, which can be very useful if you need to know the thing that happened before something else happened. But what about moving forward? You can unpause the debugger by pressing the resume button, but then the test will just finish. So let's go back to our breakpoint. And instead of pressing resume, we can press the step over or step into buttons. And these two are very powerful. Stepping over means the debugger will move to the next statement and pause again. Stepping into means the debugger will go a level deeper and debug what's happening within a function call. These two buttons together are super powerful. You can essentially navigate the flow of your program with them while keeping an eye on how variables change, why conditions match or don't, how many times something is looped over and much more. But debugging, it's not just powerful, it's also intimidating. There's a lot going on and it's difficult to give examples without context that makes sense. It's also something that needs practicing to get comfortable with, just like playing an instrument, for example. So here's what we're going to do. I've shown you the basics of getting started with a debugger, how to start a debugging session, breakpoints and stepping over and into code. You'll need to get comfortable with it. And the only way to do that is by practice. So the next time you write a var dump or DD statement, I try to use the debugger instead. There will be some friction the first time you do it, but it will get easier over time and it will pay off in the long run. Now I'm going to make some more videos about debugging specifically. I want to talk about browser debugging, conditional breakpoints, running to cursors, watches, and also about setting up Xdebug in other environments like Docker, for example. And finally, PHP Storm is currently working on making Xdebug's setup even better and easier for developers. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to start using a debugger because it's a really powerful tool once you've set it up and PHP Storm can help you with that, but more about that soon.